Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. And oh my lanta. <laughs> oh my lanta. We have got a recipe. Yeah, it's really good. It's gonna be a strawberry shortcake bake. So people, I gotta tell you, we debated long and hard on what to name this recipe oh, because argued. Well, it started out like a French toast, and then well, it's not French toast. Mm -hmm. It's not even really strawberry shortcake because we use pound cake. Right. So, but we wanted you to understand what it was, so that you would go, "Oh, this is worth my time." Because, well, frankly, if we called it strawberry shortcake pound cake French bake, toast bake, bake, then it would be way too long. Way too long. It'd be very and confusing. Really weird. So, but the general idea is you have a, a delicious, delightful bread product. In this case, we're talking pound cake. You could use angel food cake. You could I, use whatever kind I, of bread I you would want. not say rye bread. Ooh, no. Rye bread would be... Or pumpernickel. Mm. Ooh. So, but you got your bread and then you've got, um, you're gonna bake it together in, in delicious gooeyness. So it's almost like a... It's almost like an overnight French toast bake. And like then you got not. the strawberries and the sugar and the what's it's in the... Well, it's made me who I am today, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, gonna show you the ingredients. Mumsy here, my lovely bride. Hands in the pot. Ooh, and hopefully hands somewhere else. We'll be showing you how to make it. So here we go. Now, as you have come to expect here at the Big Family Homestead, our ingredients are very, very basic, basic things. If you need a recipe for the pound cake, well, we're gonna go ahead and put a link up right here, but it'll also be down below for those of you who are on mobile devices. But here we go with the ingredients. When you're talking about eggs, farm fresh is always the best. Look at how nice and dark those yolks are. This is gonna be great. You're also gonna need two cups of fresh, fresh, delightful milk. You're also gonna need one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, and a dashy dasheroo of salt. You're also gonna need a pound of either, you know, angel food cake, or we actually use pound cake, but whatever bread base you want to use, you can use. We adventurously go with the pound cake. We like the pound cake, you gotta cube it up, so, yeah, and you are also gonna need a little bit of powdered sugar. Uh, this is kind of a relative uh, measurement because it depends on how sweet you want it. We kind of like it a little bit lighter side because there's already sugar in the pound cake and in the strawberries, there you go. And let's not forget one teaspoon of vanilla. Now, just a quick word on the vanilla. You know, the deal is this. We used to think that the vanilla that you got from the store was really not that big of a deal until dun, 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 we got this stuff. This stuff right here, let me see if I can focus on it. This vanilla that we got from Haiti, it's ridiculous. It makes a huge difference. It's so rich, there's a lot of flavor, and uh, doggone it, it, it really does make a huge difference. I just wanted to point that out because, um, well, if you want some, there's a link down below. All right, commercial's over. Back to the recipe. So now you're gonna take whatever bread you would like. The yumminess. The yumminess, and you're going to cube it into about one inch pieces. I think this is one for me. Oh, okay. Oh. Just like that. You still got a mouthful. You were tasting. I, I, I do. I was tasting. <laughs> yeah, it's yummy. So now you're gonna take your eggs, your milk, and your seasoning, and you're gonna whip it all together. All righty, baby. I love these spoons. They're very decorative, very so Christmassy. Pretty. They make baking so much fun. So a lot of people think that you need a lot of sugar to go in with this. Well, since we're using pound cake, there's already plenty of sugar in there, so we're not adding any extra. So you're gonna pour your mix right over the top of your bread, just like this. Trying to make sure every little bit mm -hmm. gets a little bit of soakage. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna give this a toss to make sure that the egg mixture is all over all of the bread pieces. And the milkiness. Yep. Yeah, see it's down there in the bottom. You just gotta toss that around so that every bit gets a little bit of that mix in there. So now this is where you're gonna decide whether or not you need more egg and milk mixture to make sure that your bread is covered and well coated with the eggs. It's okay if you need to add more. I always like more. Yes. 
We're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes, but keep an eye on it. Mmm, mmm. And I ain't talking just about those cubes of bread. Ha, ha, ha. So for the strawberries, you just slice them up. I go with about two pounds of strawberries because we have a big family. And then you sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top and let them sit in their Ooh, refrigerator. Ooh, mama, she's got the sugar. Yeah, and that makes it really nice and yummy. So the wait is over. We did have to bake it just a little bit longer. Yeah, it was not quite done in the middle. No, we had to wait about another 10 minutes, so you make sure to check, because mm -hmm. what you're looking for is not gloopy, but done. Yep. But check this out. Oh, rise up and witness awesomeness. Yeah. This is strawberry shortcake bake. Delight. Take a look at this nonsense. Oh my gracious. <laughs> <laughs> she's feeling I inhaled powdered she's sugar. Feeling, <laughs> she's feeling for clamped. Mm. But take a look at that. Let me see if I can focus right on that. Nice and creamy. Mm. Come over here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Warm, toasty, sweet. Get a little bit of the crunch from the edges of the um, the uh, the, mm -hmm. the uh, <laughs> what is it even called? Pound I'm so cake. I'm so confused. Pound the cake. pound cake. Yummy, mm -hmm. yummy, yummy. Hmm, hold on. Mm -hmm. Super easy, delicious, and one of the cool things, guys, oh yeah, no, bring that back in here, baby case. <laughs> mm. Doggone, almost as sweet as you. Right. Um, one thing that's nice is you could make it the night before, put all your stuff in a pan, get it ready to go, and then just bake it up in the morning or whatever, yeah. and um, what a treat. It is. Nice it's and great. light, mm -hmm. very summery, I love it. Too bad summer's almost over. <laughs> well, it reminds me of summer then. Right. So anyway, there you have it. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. With a big family homestead. You guys have an amazing day.